everyone! Welcome to my next FlossTube video. I'm Nilkert Net Danny, and this is FlossTube number 59. I'm sorry, it's again been two weeks since I filmed last. Um, last week I planned on filming on Monday and something came up, something private, not going into it. Um, just I couldn't film. Um, I did not stitch a whole lot because of that. So, yeah, uh, I have two weeks of progress. Nevertheless, quite few projects, honestly, for two weeks and for my stitching, stitching style. Um, nevertheless, I think I made good progress. I'm happy with what I did. So let's get move into it. Um, first of all, as always, let's get started with um, my travel stitching. Travel stitching at the moment is the Hello Dear Cell by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Today, the fifth and last part was released. So the whole thing is going to look like that when it's done. I'm presently in part two, so yeah, up in here. Um, part one was the one with the bird, part two, the squirrel, part um, three, the rabbit, part four, the deer, and part five now with the presents. So I'm um, presently in part number two with the squirrel. So I show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I'm at right now. So since you saw it last, I did um, a few colors up in here. Um, one more of the reds and yeah, a lot of the blues and stuff. So um, with this one, I'm taking one color and if I'm able to, finish it over the whole part. Um, normally I'm with the first two or three colors, I'm not able to finish those colors because um, I would have just to count too far away and I don't want to do that. So um, I choose the colors um, with how far I would get with that color. So now I have reached all the parts of part number two. And now I'm just filling in all the colors um, finishing up part number two and then I move on to part number three. Um, this one is stitched on a 28 count one over one full cross. The needle minder is from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Like the whole rest, I ordered the kit, so fabric, threads and needle minder. The kit is meant to be um, for stitching two over two, that's why I have so much margin um, on the side of the fabric. Um, but I did the first one in the series, the Hello pumpkin cells, so the autumn one, one over one on the 28 count, so I'm going to continue that with all the rest of those, so also with the winter one, hello dear. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. Closer shot. So, yeah, I'm happy with that one. Um, I do not have a lot of uh, travel stitching time till the rest of the month. And on 1st of December, the last part of the Grimm's fairy tale cell will be released and that has priority of, over this one. So probably not a whole lot of progress um, till you see it next and then it's gonna get switched out. So yeah, as I said, probably not a whole lot of progress. I hope to at least finish part number two, but honestly, even that I doubt. Um, and then I would have the rest of December, as soon as Grimm's Fairy Tale Cell is done, to finish this one up. Because I want to finish it this year. I just have to get going on it. <laughs> okay, so that's the Hello Dear Cell um, and my travel stitching. So let's move on to my other weekly piece. That's the Temperature Garden by Stitching Mommy. This time I brought a cover picture. So, yeah, that's what it's going to look like when it's done, approximately, because you stitch it with your own colors, um, with the temperatures from the location you chose. I chose my hometown, or the town where I presently live in, um, with the intention to someday do another one of those um, with the town I grew up in. So, yeah, we'll see about that. Um, yeah, I show a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I'm at right now. 
So you can see I did two more weeks, means I finished that flower, did those two, and started with the fifth one for the month. Um, this one is also stitched on a 28 count, one over one four cross. The needle minder is from Lakeside Needlecraft. And as you can see, we're back into the blues. The whole garden is kind of blue, um, especially in comparison to like the cover picture. Um, you can see on mine there are a lot more blues, and that's fine. I moved um, about 750 kilometers from the city where I grew up in. I moved to the north of Germany, um, and here in the north, it does not get super cold and it does not get super hot. Um, but enough for me, I would have liked it to be a little bit cooler anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of, it's not a whole mixture of temperatures. Um, but I choose the temperature range from very cold to very hot because I know I someday want to do my hometown as well. And there, in the south of Germany, it can get super cold and it can get super hot. Um, so I would like to have the comparison between those two and therefore I need the same uh, temperature range and the same colors for the same temperatures. So that's why I choose that one and that's why this one is so blue. Um, Sarah, Stitching Mommy, um, who designed this um, pattern, <laughs> that's the word, um, who designed this pattern and a few other temperature patterns if you're interested. Um, she gave, I think, four temperature range, ranges, so four um, temperature ranges with their respective colors. Um, as I said, she has some other temperature charts as well. If you want to check her out, I will link her channel below, so you can check her out there and below her videos. I think she has always um, linked her Etsy shop, if you're interested in that. The temperature garden one, I will link below as well. So. Um, I think you will be able to find um, that if you want to. Yeah, last time um, I asked you, um, I wanted to do 2020 in the color of the hottest flower petal. And I asked you if I should put it on top or bottom. I read through all of your comments and I think all of you said on the top. So I'm going to do it on the top and I'm going to answer the comments today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stitch 2020 on top probably next time I stitch on this one. And then I thought I would put the location on the bottom. Um, somebody mentioned to put like my initials. Um, I like that idea, but I don't do it on any of my projects. I don't sign them. So it would feel weird to, to sign this one. But I thought about putting the location. Um, of the city where I stitched this, especially because I plan to stitch on um, or to, to stitch another one with another location. So yeah, now I'm thinking where to put that <laughs> and I'm not sure yet. We'll see. And which color, if I'm doing it with the same font and color, all the monthly names are done or if I'm going to do a more block style uh, font in another color. Maybe coldest one? I'm not sure yet. So I'll see about that. And probably I put the location below somewhere. So yeah, that's that one. Um, as I said, I'm going to stitch on this one once a week. I stitched on it yesterday and I'm going to stitch on it next Sunday. Um, in December, I have not yet looked up what my um, non full coverage stitching day will be. So I'm not sure yet when I'm going to stitch on it next. But, well, next Sunday is still November, so I'm going to stitch on it then. And I think I might put 2020 in then as well. So, yeah, that's my temperature burn. And I talked about it long enough. So now let's move to full coverage. Um, I only have three full coverage projects lying next to me. Because, as I said, beginning of the week, I did not stitch a whole lot. Um, and if I did, I stitched on the same project. So the first one that I talked to you about in the last video, I'm going to continue to stitch on, is Colorado Mountains by Golden Kate. 
that's what it's going to look like when it's done. And I wanted to finish this first page in the third and last row. So I'll show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I'm at right now. So as you can see, the page down here is finished. There were about 300 stitches missing um, in this column. So I did those. And then I actually had two more night shifts. So I moved up in here and did two more columns over here. I could have done probably a third one and maybe started the fourth. Um, but the second night shift, um, I started talking with a colleague and we did not stop for like the whole night. So in the second night shift, I only did about 300 stitches. Um, in the first, I did 800. So that's a kind of a difference. But yeah, um, I did two whole columns over there. I started a little bit in the third one, but not enough to actually mention it. Um, and now I have two more columns and I will have another page finish. Um, I talk about page finishes a lot on this project because those pages are super, super small. Um, so like normal, um, regular pr print, having enough design pages, have seven and a half thousand up to eight thousand stitches. If you have the large format pages, which most of my projects have, you still have around, um, I think, six, uh, 6,000 stitches per page. With those, I have three and a half uh, or 4,000 stitches per page. So that's why pages on this one are super, super fast. <laughs> um, and I really enjoy that because page finish is always kind of an accomplishment and it always feels great to have one. So to have a page finish faster, that's nice. Um, so you maybe can see those few darker stitches over here. I'm at the second mountain. So I have reached that. I have reached um, the halfway point uh, width-wise, I think, in here. Not sure, um, but somewhere in there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting closer to being kind of done with that one. I want to do, I think, 2,000 more this year. So this page finish should be done. And then I will start over here. Probably not a whole lot, but I will start over here in that page as well. Which then means um, I have five page finishes this year on this project. That's really nice. Next year, I won't do a whole lot on this one. I already did all my 2021 plans um, and my goals and everything. But I'm going to show you that in a special video, um, probably on the 30th of um, December, because I know already I don't have to work then. And I have the whole day just to do this video, which probably will take a long time. So, yeah, I already know that, but I know that I won't do a lot on this one next year. So it's nice to have done a whole lot this year. Um, this one is stitched on 25 count, 2 over 1, 10 stitch. The needle minder is from Denka Designs. And I bring it up close to the parts I stitched on. So as I said... And here I finished the page. I really love how this this is turn, has turned out. I showed those to you last uh, week already, but they are beautiful. And then I moved up into the sky. The sky is super fast stitching. Um, that's why I got 800 stitches done in a night. Um, it's super, super fast because there are not a whole lot of colors. Um, just a comparison. Those are all the part threads um, for probably the whole sky um, over here. This year, it's just the top of the mountain. There are darker parts in there as well. There are a few colors missing because they're parked in the bottom of this column. So that's, that's something else. <laughs> but yeah, that's Colorado Mountains. And I think I talked long enough about that one even though I'm really happy with how this one's turning out. 
as I said, 2,000 more stitches till the end of the year, but I'm going to wait till this one is my last full coverage piece until I stitch on it again. At least that's the plan. If there's a night shift in between, then that one will come out again. Okay, um, and then I said I would move up to Mini Cinderella by Heaven and Earth Designs. And the artwork is by Alexander Daw. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. So, about this one. When I showed it to you last, where I'm going to start, I already told you it's not one of my favorite projects. And it's not. I like how it's turning out. I really, really like how it's turning out. But I don't have a lot of fun stitching on it. So, the first two days, I stitched on this one. I did get my stitch count goal done, but barely. Um, so, I decided I'm going to stitch two lengths of thread every day into it until I'm done with my goal. So now I'm going to show you what it looked like last time. And this is where I'm at right now. I did a lot. To be exact, I did 4,000 stitches since you saw it last and I finished my year-end goal. So this is where I'm at right now. As I said, I did something over the whole piece. I did something down here in the pumpkins. I did a lot um, in the clock down in here and up in here. I started filling in the background, which is um, a blend between B5200 and the blending filament from Kranich in the color 032. So, yeah, you can, I think you can see the sparkle. In real life, you can definitely see it. So, I started filling it in um, a lot over here. I think I have to get down until here, something like that, and I will have a page finish. I'm close, but I do not have it yet, so that's kind of sad. But as much as I like how the Kranich is turning out and the blend between B5200 and the blending filament, it's actually nice to stitch with. Um, or nicer than with only the blending filament or only Kranich. Um, it's not as nice as just stitching with DMC. So as I said, I did two lengths of thread every day, um, which normally meant I did one length of thread with normal DMC in any color, um, and then one length of thread with um, the Kranich. Those lengths I actually cut in half because it's easier to stitch with shorter lengths, um, so I actually did three lengths of thread, if you want to be super exact. Um, but yeah, I did that. Normally I got around uh, 250 stitches in every day then, so that's nice. Um, and yesterday I think I did... Those two lengths of thread got me to, I think, 290. And then I was missing 150 to reach my year and goal, so I did that one as well. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm not sure if you can see the sparkle, but yeah, here we go. Um, this whole pattern has only a bit more than 41,000 stitches, so I'm now at a bit more than 20%. It does not look like that. It definitely doesn't, but yeah, I, I like the number <laughs> being done more than 20%. Um, so yeah, that's nice. And I think next year I want to do about the same amount um, that's already in there. So I'm getting close to 50% next year, if I reach my goal. Um, that, that would be nice. So yeah, here we go. You can't see the sparkle, that's, that's kind of annoying. Um, the needle minder is from Danker Designs, and this one is stitched on 28 count light blue even weave one over one full cross. Yeah, here we go, mini Cinderella. Um, and then I have one more full coverage project I stitched on. Um, that's going to be my next focus piece till I've reached my um, year end goal. So, the one I'm talking about is Super Size Max Color Once Upon a Fairy Tale. Artwork is by Amy Stewart and uh, charted by Heaven of Designs. I ordered a print from um, Amy Stewart's website. Well, she links you to another website. And there I got a print. 
um, so you can see it probably a little bit better than with my printed out copy. So I'm working up in this corner over here. So I show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I'm at right now. So since you saw it last, I think I finished the diagonal beginning up in here, completely down to the bottom. And then I moved up, started the next one with, I think, three blocks um, or three 10 by 10 blocks. This one is stitched on a 40 count, one over one ten stitch. The needle minder is from Lakeside Needlecraft and I bring it a little bit closer. I finally started with the owl. Um, so far, it does look a little bit creepy. I think I have to do one more diagonal and it will look really good. Um, I did a bit more on the sword. It's now close to being done. I think one or two more rows of stitches and then there will be the stone and the sword will be done. Um, you can probably see the stone over here a little bit better. So I'm cutting in, I think, around here now. Um, two more blocks and I will reach the shelf. Um, so, yeah, two more blocks down here. I think over here, that's going to be where the shelf is. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm still not sure how I'm going to stitch this one, if I'm going to go in diagonals over the first shelf first, or if I'm going to go in diagonals over the whole piece. I'm not sure yet. Still thinking about that. Um, but yeah. I did some more progress in those books and therefore also in the candles. Um, so in here I started that uh, shine of the candle and did a bit more over here. So next I actually move into the candles and um, yeah, in the candle. So that's that one. And I started this book up in here and... You see it in the part threads over there. I started actually started that book as well. So very small, I think with two or three stitches, I started that next book. But I started. Okay, I think I miss um, or still need about um, four thousand five hundred stitches, something like that. Yeah, uh, four thousand six hundred or something because I'm at 12,345 stitches with this one, which means I'm at one, two, three, four, five stitches. That's pretty cool. And I was close to a stopping point um, the night I stitched on it, and I realized to get that number, I missed one or two stitches. So I searched for a color that I had parked in the block I was stitching, um, that I could stitch those one or two stitches, whatever, whatever it was, and then part the color again and have reached that number. So I did that and then I actually stopped. I probably could have stitched like five or ten more minutes, but I decided to stop because I really like that, that number. Um, and to have it to show you at that number. Um, so yeah, that means 12,345 stitches since the beginning of the year. Um, I started this one on the 1st um, of January 2020. That's why there's Happy New Year on here because it was my new year to start. Um, yeah, as I said, a bit more than 12,000 stitches already done. I need to get to um, 16,000. That means I have a bit more than 3,000 missing. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So that's my goal. I'm going to stitch on this one until I'm done with the goal, which probably will take me the whole week, maybe a bit more. Um, but that's fine with me. I want to get my goals done one after the other. And if that means I stitch on a project for more than a week, then that's fine. My videos probably get a little bit boring during that time, just because I don't stitch on that many projects. As I said, the whole next week, I will be stitching on Super Size Max Polo Once Upon a Fairy Tale, because I don't think I will be able to finish those close to 4,000 stitches this week. Um, but yeah, nevertheless, I have one more project to show you because beginning of the week, I kind of lost my stitchy bag and I did not know what to stitch on. I did not feel like stitching on anything. Um, and also the a few days or the last days, 
Um, I was done with my full coverage and I still wanted to stitch, but on the other side I did not want to stitch anymore. So I took out tiny Christmas stockings, what are they called? Tiny stockings ornaments. That's what they're called. It's a kit by Vasilla. There are 30 stockings in there. They're super tiny, I think four inches high, three and a half inches wide. Um, so really tiny ornaments. Um, and this year I wanted to do uh, to 16 of those. And I had four left. And the one I was stitching on is this birdhouse in here. So I'll show you a picture of what that one looked like the last time here. And I actually finished it. So that kind of got my stitchy back back. So I'm super happy about that. And I'm happy that this one's done because um, in the kit I ran out of a color. So I had to fill in the DMC, but I always, always forgot it. So I had a lot of parked threads parked in here. Sorry, a lot of backstitch threads parked in here. And it got super messy. So I'm really happy that I finally did um, those DMC stitches in here and could backstitch everything and now this one's done. So yeah, that's the birdhouse. Super cute, um, which means I have for this year now 13 finished and overall 16 finished. So that's pretty nice. More than half of them are already done. Um, and then uh, yesterday I decided to move on to another one because it was not full coverage stitching day. So it kind of fit. And I did not feel like stitching on any of my other non-full coverage pieces, so I decided why not. Um, and next in line, because I started all of the ones I wanted to do this year during Stitch Mania 2020. So the next one that I started, so the next one in line, um, was the center with all those animals. So I'll show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is the center right now. So all the cross stitches are done and I have started backstitching. Um, I still have to backstitch all of that part. The fox, I think it is a fox, is already backstitched. Um, there's only the French knot missing for his eye. Center's hat is fully backstitched. He's also missing the French knots for his eyes. Um, and I think there's another French knot for that eye. And up in here are missing, I'm missing a few French knots. But that's basically it. So I kind of like the idea of stitching on those um, every evening or on evenings I have reached my, my daily stitch count goal and still feel like stitching, but not on, not on full coverage. So I like the idea to taking those out and stitching some on those because it's super easy stitching, especially coming from full coverage, probably super size max color once upon a fairy tale, which is on 40 count one over one. Um, it's super easy to go back on 14 count and super nice and um, fast stitching. So yeah, I like the idea to, to go back to that. I still have my thread perked for back stitching behind on the needle. Um, and yeah, I'm going to con probably continue on that one. Which means this one will probably be done in one evening or two. And I'm going to show you the two that are still left for my year and goal. So, Still missing uh, are those birdies. Those will be next after the center. And that's where I'm at with those. So I'm super looking forward to those because I think they will turn out so cute. Um, but yeah, those will be then the next ones. And the last one for this year will be the cat in here. And that's where I'm at with that one. So yeah, those are probably the ones I'm going to stitch on in the evenings if I don't feel like full coverage stitching anymore. Um, so it's nice to have something small. And I want to finish my goal on all, well, I want to finish my goal on all of my projects. I won't be able to do that. But it's nice to have those already finished. Um, originally, I thought those four that are left, I could do during December, stitch on every day, 30 minutes on, on one of those. Um, but I also like to have them done till December. That would be nice as well. Um, and one other thing, in the beginning of the year, I um, calculated how many stitches I have to do every day and did all the math. Um, and I 
overcalculated how many stitches I have to do, undercalculated the days I have to do that, um, did the math, and then I rounded up. So I came to my 630 stitches every day, which basically means those 630 stitches I'm shooting for every day are way too many stitches. So I'm getting close to finishing my, all my full coverage goals. I have three projects left. So I again did the math and then thought about finishing everything full coverage um, till Christmas. If I want to do that, I have to stitch every day. So also on non full coverage days, I did not count them out. Um, I would need 500 stitches every day till the 23rd of December and I will be done with all my goals on the 23rd of December, which is pretty cool. Um, I really like that. Nevertheless, I'm still going to shoot for 630 every day because that's just my math in my bullet journal, so I'm going to continue with that. Um, and also, that would mean I'm going to be done earlier than, than 23rd of December. So that's nice as well because um, I have some non full coverage pieces I want to finish. Um, and I probably need two or three weeks to finish those. So, yeah, <laughs> it would be nice to have a bit more time at the end of the year to concentrate on non full coverage as well. And if I can finish some non full coverage um, pieces till then as well, that's super nice. Um, so, yeah, that, that's basically what I wanted to tell you about my, my goals. I think I will be able to finish all my, uh, my full coverage goals. That, that looks good. I like that. <laughs> but I have to get going. So I'm going to start with supersized Max Power Once Upon a Fairy Tale um, and hopefully go um, finishing my goal, my year-end goal on that one, maybe during next week. Um, this week I won't be able to do it, I'm quite sure. But maybe next week that would be really nice. Um, and yeah, so that's basically my plans. Super Size Max Color Once Upon a Fairy Tale. Hello DSL if I have some trouble stitching time. And if I want to have some easy stitching in the evening, I'm going to go with tiny Christmas stockings. Um, and one more thing, I got some haul. I told you last week about my needles. Um, and I ordered three skeins of DMC with it because I ran out of those colors. Um, and I got all my John James needles. So now I can continue stitching. Um, the problem with those John James, they are super good and I really enjoy stitching with those. But there are only five needles in every package. So I need a whole lot of packages from those. Um, but yeah. As I said, it's super hard to get stuff from the USA in, at the moment. Um, I ordered something, a Mirabilia chart, that was not in stock. Um, I did not think it was it would be such a problem, but I ordered it um, during the middle of August, and now it's end of November, and it's still not here. So that that's probably the, the reason, because they just don't get any stuff out of the US. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's it. I talked a lot. Um, yeah, as I said, comments will be answered today. I'm very thankful for all your suggestions regarding my temperature garden. If you have any idea where I should put the location, you're welcome to comment again. Um, I'm going to answer all of those today. Um, and I'm going to put it on top because all of you said to put it on top. <laughs> um, yeah. That's it, and I'm going to edit this video so I can start stitching and hopefully meet my stitch count goal for today and maybe get closer to finish my year end goal on Super Size Max Color Once Upon a Fairy Tale. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sorry that I came back two weeks later instead of one, um, but yeah, that's just how life goes sometimes. So. I plan on coming back next week, so <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> okay, that's it. Um, I hope you have a wonderful time till whenever I am. I'll be back with my next video um, and see you then. Bye.